Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Diablo Immortal. The update is here. We've been waiting for this. We went through patch notes over the past few days. It's finally here. What I want to do before I have to go to work this morning is take you through a quick preview overview of what has changed inside of Diablo Immortal. This has been probably the biggest update yet. So I'm going to just kind of walk you through everything. And then later on today, around 2 p.m. Eastern time, I will be live streaming all of the progression. Now I'll be playing throughout the day, but then at two o'clock we'll be diving in together. So first of all, notice the time has changed. It now reflects daylight savings time. So the time is accurate for where you're living. You don't have to ever do any math or anything like that. When you log into the game, you'll notice that there are different hell difficulties. If we come in over here, notice that I was automatically put into, well, let me move my camera out of the way here, hell six. And if we do a swap here, there is now six, seven, and hell eight. Because of this, I was awarded different rewards for every hell difficulty. Check out all of this stuff that we got here just from just from being already progressed. I haven't even equipped anything yet, but it looks like I have one, two, three, four, five pieces of gear that's going to further increase my combat rating. Also, we have a little bit of a change here to how all this is laid out. We have um, our resonance, our gem resonance is right here. We have this here for our heliquaries. Remember, we did have larger heliquary spots. Now we can fit five different um different things right here for our upgrades none of you know all of my heliquary upgrades they seem to be gone at this point in time so things have definitely changed here for heliquary we're gonna have to dive deeper into that oh here are the demonic remains that we were talking about let me move myself again lots of lots of movement by me we could choose the ones that we want to add so if we want the fortitude vitality you could choose any of them that you want and i believe we could fit up to five again this is a quick preview of the changes i will be doing a deeper dive into what i choose and all of that later on today because as of right now uh, well we just don't have the time right now unfortunately when i go to attributes Let's, let's keep this in our mind right now. My combat rating is 6,367. This is after me doing a few upgrades. Last night, I was able to upgrade uh, to level 8 my piece of gear. Now, speaking of secondary gear, let me come on over here to my bag. And over here, we have all the gems. By the way, I did purchase a BSJ, Blood Soaked Jade gem from the shop last night. It's a two-star. I got it for 62,000 platinum, taking me only down to 15. So that is going to be my next gem upgrade right over here. Excited about that. But when we come over to the bag, you'll notice a few things. First of all, I do have seven regular, uh, regular legendary crests and three eternal, which means I will be doing a 10 legendary crest run of the Elder Rift to see what kind of gems we get. Wish me luck, crossing fingers. But there are some new things in here. One of these, oh, we have our enigmatic crystals. Let's read the description. Used to upgrade secondary equipment from ranks 1 through rank 10. Our secondary equipment, my friends, that is all this stuff over here for those of you that are newer to the game. We also now have this, the cryptic crystals. These are new to the game, used to upgrade secondary equipment from ranks 1 through rank 10. 15. So it looks like enigmatic crystals are going to be kind of replaced with cryptic crystals. Now, I'm not sure if they're being completely replaced, but we now can get to level 15 on our secondary gear, which is pretty cool. And via some of the patch notes out of China, I believe, I don't see any evidence of it right here. Oh, maybe, maybe I do. Maybe I do. Right here. Used to upgrade primary equipment ranks 1 through 30. So there is the proof I was actually looking for. We can now take our primary gear, which I have equipped up to 14 and 15. I'm halfway there. We can get all the way to 30, which is going to take a lot more legendaries and things to progress, which I actually think is great. It's going to give us that further progression inside of the game. And look at that chest piece. I never noticed that. Looks really cool. Something that is not in, these pa in this patch, though, are anything that has to do with a new class. We are not going to be seeing a new class in this update. Now, when I come up here, we do have that Christmas tree because there are the Christmas tree events. Notice a little bit of snow on the ground. 
Happen, I happen to love the cosmetic change. Good job, Blizzard. You made this look really nice. And we have our Christmas tree right here. The Brumaltine Fur Christmas tree. This is where you can you can open gifts, view cards. Oh, I, I thought I had some cards to open. I think I do. If you come over here to the top bars, the drop downs, we have our events. And allow me to move myself out of your way yet again. We have greeting cards. We have gifts and we have daily tasks. I believe, I thought that I had the uh, greeting cards sent. I had three. I came to the tree, I didn't ever view them. I wonder if, if I can't view them now, that's too bad. We have the uh, the exilated night and I've progressed pretty nicely through this. We're almost, we're almost over here to that final legendary piece of gear. We have the Shields of Hearth, this hasn't changed. We're on our way to the legendary crest. We have the Phantom Market. Now, this is the one where I was saying in the update video that I wasn't sure how this was going to work. If you were going to have to pay money to unlock any of these things. Now, I did unlock this piece of gear with my first unlock, which was free. The Battleground Brawl Amethyst Weapon. Cool. It's a, a class-bound cosmetic. Class-bound cosmetic. Darn but if you get the entire set right here, this is not class bound. This I believe is a cross class cosmetic. And this one is really cool looking. This is the one that you wanna get because you could use it on any of your classes anywhere. Now keep in mind, this one has, and you could get these in any order, but the chance of getting this one first is like 0.1. So the chances are very slim. We also have recruit a friend back inside of the game. So you can do some recruiting and all that stuff. Here are the tasks that you have to take part in. Never bad to promote the game and try and get things going further. But there is the new zone inside of Diablo Immortal. And I've already begun this new zone. When you log in, it's going to be a new storyline for you to follow. You're going to talk to a bunch of the characters inside of the game. And it's going to take you here. This is the underwater-ish... Um, it's, it's like, it's, what is it? The prison. It's the prison. And there's a lot of new enemies that you're going to find over here as well. I haven't played on the computer in a while, so I got to remember my controls right here. There we go. We got this rocket nicely. Now, I don't have a ton of gear slots available because of all the legendaries I got, and I haven't managed them. But I want to just walk you through here a little bit so you can see what all this looks like. What's some of the enemies? Look at the water effects right here. You have the water on the beach coming up. It's really nice. By the way, I believe this was like an eight or nine gig update. So a pretty hefty update for sure. You're gonna be talking to Esmond as you go on through and Esmond will be guiding you through everything that needs to be done over here. I'm gonna get a little bit of health and ooh, I'll try and resurrect the player. Maybe not. All right, we're gonna push through here and we're gonna follow Esmond through. This is again, just a little bit of look. Now, again, lots of changes inside of the game. There's really so much that has changed, and in my opinion, it's been changed for the good. Um, later on today, I will be taking you through that in depth. We'll look at absolutely everything. This is kind of like a preview as to what there is inside of the game. All right, what am I doing here? Do I have to do a little battle? What are my controls? Okay, we'll go three, boom, we'll go one, boom, we'll melt these guys. I've actually uh, begun to be a lot better with the wizard on the controller on the uh, keyboard which is funny because I was talking about class changing and all that we'll see now that there is not going to be ooh, a death knight at least in this update not sure what my plan is going to be but this is really cool because this whole zone is based on these ships these water elements and I think it really does they did a nice job here there's also a lot of lore to follow through as you're here also let me move my camera down a little bit just so you can see the map because we are right now on the wrecked ship. Oh, we got a, we got a boss to battle right here. We'll get this taken care of. Boom. Oh, I missed my I missed my thing here. Scorch. This has basically been my favorite build, by the way, lately. Been rocking Scorch pretty hard. Got my little, I, I don't even know what those dragon heads come from. I got to look that up because they're definitely from me and I haven't even, 
like figured out or looked into at all what they're actually coming from. All right, I avoided that one. Can we take him down before I get struck with something? Yeah, we got him taken down. Now remember, we are on, or I am on Hell 6. You will be dropped appropriately into the Hell, the Hell area that you should be in. Now, I wanna do, I think I'm gonna take us back to Westmarch really quickly. What, what do I have to do here? Defeat the, okay, we defeated him. Am I gonna get a reward here? Let's wait until we progress a little bit further. Very linear and direct. Not too much of you having to figure out what to do. Um, Esmond kind of takes you through everything that you need to worry about. Oh, wait, is this gonna be another battle? This could be another boss battle right here. Let's see. What's Edmund have to say? Nothing. All right, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go back to, thank you. I'm gonna go back to West March so we could take a little, oh, I, I completed it. So we can take a little look around West March. I don't wanna continue here. I'll progress throughout this whole new, Oh, I can't get to West March right now. Did I just get put into like a, I think I just got put into a little dungeony type thing. It has been a little bit laggy on PC. And I think that's just because all these files are just brand new. So these are some of the new enemies that you're going to encounter. Uh, nothing has been in, well, that one's actually new. I haven't seen that thing yet. Health it up. Thing likes to jump on you, huh? These are the crabs. They're very similar to the spiders that we've encountered in other zones inside of the game, but they're crabs. As they say, they are, they'll feed a family of four, although they don't taste very good. Also over here, you can see what zones are happening. So we have Onslaught that's gonna be arriving which is gonna be a thunder stone. The onslaught occurs every Sunday at 12.45, 9 and 10, 15 p.m. Defend the magical barrier protecting storm point. Keep from the legions of attacking demons to receive the award. Obtain thunder stones from killing monsters within standpoint and use them to power the defensive turrets in front of the keep. Utilize the manticores to subdue the shields of the shrieking terrors looking forward to that event when i can finally get involved oh you just you just stole all my you just stole all my my guys away it's gonna just melt them maybe it's good that he did because i was getting low in health so look at this look at the water zone right here you got the water right here looking really good across the bridge you know i'm a fan of bridges and water inside of the game there we go Kind of clear out a couple of these enemies so you can see what that all looks like. Now there is definitely a lot that I've left out from this. That's what this that's what the stream is gonna be for. For uh, did I now enter the solo dungeon story? Ugh. This isn't how I wanted this to go, but we'll go through the dungeon together anyways. Cut him out. Hopefully this one doesn't take too long. Man's got work to go to. All right. I don't know. New zones are cool inside of the game. We got to place some explosives to open up the door. This I haven't done, clearly. You probably haven't either. And if you haven't, you will be soon enough. There's been a lot of cinematics and stuff too. Mostly that I skipped through. I wish that I had it recorded because the stuff really did look nice. These guys are all going to come to life, aren't they? Are they, oh, they're human. Cool, I thought they may have been like transformed. So I'm getting all these crest rewards, all these different legendaries. Again, just from the update, I'm gonna probably gain two or 300 in my combat rating, just based on a bunch of the legendary and the set gear that I've unlocked. Got more monstrous essence. By the way, that has changed as well. The whole way that the achievements and all that work. Remember the Haradric Altar and those rewards have changed. Also, if I come over here, the daily activities, notice right here, it says that you'll be guaranteed your 
um, your one legendary item. And we're also being guaranteed a legendary for the first time you, ha you hand in your monstrous essence. Your achievements, hero's journey has changed right here as well. Let me move myself out of the way so you can see what you get. But you have to kill the Countess, kill the Mad King on Hell 1. I'm assuming that I could just do all these on Hell, on hell 6 that I'm in and I could progress through these rewards. So there's really lots of stuff. And we have a new Storm Point uh, exploration zone that we have 0% on right now. Player achievements is what it is. Got a couple of blues. Oh, now the sound comes on? Now the sound just pops on, huh? I think that was just for me. I think you've had it the whole time. We're just gonna make our way over here. Yeah, you have had the sound. Good. Oh, this is from this is that laser shooting bat thing that I called in the uh, in the trailer. Yeah, we saw this. Let's fight this bad boy. This looks fun. I can't wait to live stream with you guys later. I hope you come through. All right. Let's see what we got. Boom, I'm gonna get over here. Did I did I defeat him already? Stop it. That was easy. Not even wearing the new gear yet. Alright, so I'm just running past all these enemies. Not really trying to engage in anything. I don't have to. Well, these guys are new. These fire things. I don't know. This wizard's been pretty good to me. I don't know that I want to switch out. But what are these? Little grubs. Here's some of those thunderstones. Once I once I run through this and play through this entire zone once, things will be just a bit smoother for me in the future. All right, he's taken down already. Is this a battle? This is probably a battle right here. Trying to fight, buddy? Yeah, he's trying to fight. But what what hell difficulty am I even on? I am on hell six. They're going down super easy. Reach the keep courtyard, enter the great hall. Ooh, there's a, a team chest right there. Can we reach that? Oh, look at this. Look at that. Wow, that's cool. Let's come back over here. This guy's strung up. I love that. This is just a preview of the new Storm Point Zone. All right, once I get out of here, have I entered another? Can I? I really want to really get out of here, to be honest with you. I think what we're gonna do right now, guys, is we're gonna end this right here. Gave you the preview, showed you a handful of things. We need to dive deeper into the Heliquary, equipping that stuff, equipping my new gear, and really just taking a deeper look. And uh, as we can see right here from Red October in the corner, Heliquary chest got a big rework. Don't forget to claim reclaim that combat rating. Remember, you can, all those pieces that we showed you earlier, if we come in over here, um, all the Heliquary pieces, they need to be dropped in there because your Demonic Remains haven't been added. They do give you combat rating buffs from adding these. One other thing that I didn't even mention were the new Paragon Trees because there are new Paragon Trees right now. We have Massacre, Brawler, and Duelist. If I move myself down to the corner here, we'll look at Massacre really quickly. This one is going to... Um, I forget what the breakdowns of them were. We have Armor. We have aggression. During a kill streak, every 10 kills grants you increased primary attack. So this is going to be armor penetration, 
Kill streak timer now expires 10% slower. This is all going to be about those kill streaks. We have our brawler one, which is going to focus on reduces duration of loss of control by 20%. Primary attacks that damage elite monsters within two yards grant you stacks in close quarters. Um, we have close quarters radius increase from two to three yards. So it's giving you a little bit more range right there. And we have the duelist, which is going to do some damage increase by 2%. Specialization skills once learned, activating the duelist specialization will apply the skill bonus. We have using a skill while in combat increases the damage you deal. So a lot more opportunities and a lot more options right here with that. Remember, we do have the Monk rework as well. All of the Monk skills have changed how they work, and it seems that the Monk got a bit of a bump as well. But really, this is the one that you're going to want to make sure that you do, is that you go in here and you boost up your Demonic Remains so that you can get that. Although, when I look at Heliquary, it looks like my combat rating has been increased. And look at this. We have the Hellfire Scoria, and now we have the Void Blood Slag used to upgrade the Heliquary. Looks like we're going to need this to upgrade our Heliquary moving forward. Not sure what the Scoria. So used to upgrade Heliquary to level 35. Above 35, 20 Hellfire Scoria can be converted into one Void Blood Slag, which can be used to further upgrade. So I'm gonna be able to use Hellfire until level 35. I'm currently at level 28. So, but it's asking me for the new resource. It's asking me for the Void Blood Slag. So I'll run some Heliquary today and I'll see if I'm gonna be able to upgrade with 260 of the Hellfire or if I have to start doing some converting. And as we can see, it's a 20 to one, which means it's gonna be a lot more difficult to get those upgrades in. Game's awesome. There's a lot of great changes to it and I can't wait to dive into it later with you guys. This is just your quick preview, which is actually 20 minutes of me rambling on, but showing you what happened in the game. Make sure you sub so you don't miss the live stream later on today. I'll see you then. Have a great day, guys, and be good.